The Tuesday night, there is breaking news in Israel's war with Hamas. U.S. officials confirming to ABC News tonight that they have begun to flood the Hamas tunnels to destroy them and Hamas. There's also breaking news here in the U.S. Ukraine's President Zelensky just moments ago before the cameras in Washington with President Biden with his urgent plea for help from the U.S. in trying to fight off Russia. But that funding is being blocked by Republicans and their demands tonight. President Biden promising the American people will not walk away from Ukraine. But the reality is that funding is being blocked. Republican leaders listening to Zelensky's pleas during meetings on the Hill today, but not moved to act. The president tonight saying those who stand in the way of this urgent help are giving Putin the greatest Christmas gift they can possibly give him. Zelensky late today saying we are fighting for us and for you trying to remind anyone listening of the stakes up against Russia. The Republicans blocking this are saying no more money until the White House does what we want on the border. President Biden arguing help for Ukraine should not be held hostage. Our chief White House correspondent, Barry Bruce, leading us off from Washington tonight. It's a far cry from the hero's welcome he received a year ago, addressing a joint session of Congress. Tonight, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky behind closed doors with lawmakers, pleading for more help against Russia. Well, Mr. President, welcome back. In the Oval Office, a warm embrace from President Biden. Biden warning unless Congress approves his request for another $61 billion in aid by the end of the year, Ukraine will run out of money and Russia could win this war. Putin is banking on the United States failing to deliver for Ukraine. We must, we must, we must prove him wrong. It's stunning that we've gotten to this point. The president pointing the finger squarely at Republicans. The host of a Kremlin-run show literally said, and I quote, well done, Republicans. That's good for us, end of quote. Zelensky with this plea. In Ukraine, we are fighting for our country and freedom, and also in Europe, we say for our freedom and yours. But Republicans won't approve the new aid package unless the president agrees to tough new immigration restrictions. Our first condition on any national security supplemental spending package is about our own national security first. The border is an absolute catastrophe. The president says he's willing to compromise, but adding this. Compromise is how democracy works, and I'm ready and offered compromise already. Holding Ukraine funding hostage in the attempt to force through an extreme Republican partisan agenda on the border is not how it works. But it does appear to be working, at least for now. Mary Bruce with us live from the White House. And uh, Mary, as you pointed out, what a difference from a year ago when Zelensky was welcomed as a hero addressing a joint session of Congress. Instead, his visit this time, he held meetings uh, pleading for more help against Russia. Tonight, it would appear no help before the end of the year, perhaps even longer. The Republicans who are blocking this uh, appear to be digging in here. David, they are not backing down, and tonight there is no clear path forward. It is not clear what is going to satisfy Republicans' immigration demands or where the president is willing to compromise. Biden is warning they have to get this done before the holiday, but Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell says that is practically impossible. 